Bon, vous pouvez photographier M. Pérez, accessoirement moi. Avec un bon ami. Par ici aussi, c'est bon. Un petit de cette maison avec un ami qui est chez toi. Oui. Bien, merci beaucoup. Tu veux qu'on se voit tout seul d'abord Caméra, caméra. Tu ça Oui, je voulais dire le plaisir que ça a été pour moi, comme à chaque fois, d'accueillir Shimon Perez, qui à la fois est un homme d'État et qui symbolise l'amitié entre Israël et la France. Et euh, chaque fois que j'ai l'occasion de rencontrer euh, Shimon Peres, euh, c'est euh, un enrichissement intellectuel et politique considérable. Et je suis heureux que nous ayons pu discuter à la fois de problèmes d'actualité et en même temps de problèmes qui touchent à la conception même de, de la vie et de l'humanité. Donc, euh, Monsieur le Président, euh, Shimon Peres, euh, tu sais que tu es toujours ici chez toi. I want to thank my great friend for this uh, very agreeable meeting. I must say that whenever I come to France, I shall never forget that in the ten most difficult years of the existence of Israel, it was France that stood on our side in an unbelievable way, with deep friendship and support. I should never forget it. And for us, always, France was and will remain a friend. We don't have an argument. We argue as friends. Right now, I want to just make one or two brief remarks about the actual situation. We don't have an argument about the need to establish a Palestinian state. I think uh, uh, my friend Fabius and myself on that point, that not only me. There is a need and time to have a Palestinian state. I think it will be better to achieve it through an agreement and not by an imposition. It's not that I prefer agreements, but I believe it is possible to reach an agreement. And I believe that we have to give another try and a little bit more time to do it. Because Israel is today united about the need to have two states, Palestinian and Israeli, and there is also a change on the Palestinian side because the Arab League adopted a plan for peace between Israel and the rest of the Arab world, which is an important change that we shouldn't close the eyes uh, to it. <coughs> I think the need to wait a little bit has another reason. Israel is going to an election right now. During an election, we have only an interim government. And we don't know if we have a, a majority in the parliament at all. So I think it will be proper to wait until the elections will be over. And uh, it's not a long postponement. It's a matter of two or three months. In the meantime, there can be some attempts to bring the parties together. And I hope there is a fair chance that we can really make the necessary progress. So to answer the great desire of the Palestinians for independence and the great needs for Israel to be secure and to do it with friends, with France, with the participation of Europe and reach a proper agreement. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.